Hi everyone, I hope you're doing super well. Guess what? I have a really fun DIY urban jungle project for us today, but, but it's not anything around here. In fact, it's all the way up there. So let's go climbing. Here we are, and there is excitement here in my urban jungle because we are going to do something that involves going all the way up there, up yonder. That's about 22 feet up. My ceilings go up 22 feet. Uh, so I wish I could take credit for this, but I cannot. Alas, it was my buddy Jorge as he was over the other night. We were watching a movie and he's big into plants too. And he was like, you know what would look cool in your urban jungle is if you took some uh, cascading vining plants because I have so many of them and, and really just kind of took them and hung them up from that giant pipe up there uh, but my only qualm with that is the fact that I felt like it would be really difficult to get to those plants unless unless of course guys I came up with a little pulley system uh, which I have done once in my room before and it worked out really well so I'm thinking what we can do is take this rope that I purchased like six months ago, never did anything with it, and I have these hooks, and I'm thinking what we do is maybe create like a pulley system that goes from like around here, uh, this column separating my kitchen from the living room, up and around, and then we just kind of hang uh, one of my baskets down there, you know? I think it could work. Um, maybe it won't. I don't know. We're just going to give it a shot and just try things. Well, you know, let's just try something, guys. Let's try something different instead of always just kind of throwing Kevin under the bus and like, oh, your ideas are silly. Well, you know what? Yes, they are. But this one is not my idea, so it's not silly. Ha-ha! See? Okay, so what I'm thinking is this rope is 50 feet long. 50 feet long, so... We're gonna undangle this baby and we're gonna give it a shot. Cause why not? You know what? I'm looking for always to do things with my urban jungle uh, and make things look a little bit different. So, you know, this could be different. Um, I actually had an idea from another friend and this was probably, gosh, two years ago who had the idea of like, what if um, I took like, cause I don't have like a dining room table uh, you know, I live in a flat and so it's like there's not enough space and I also don't like having enough people over to have a dinner. So, you know, unless I made a dinner for the plants, but they just like water and uh, fish poop, fish fertilizer, you know, that's really what makes them grow. So I don't know. But my friend had an idea of like creating a pulley system using the same pipes all the way up there, um, but taking like a table and having it where you can kind of like bring it down and up. And I thought that was a cool idea, but I think this idea is gonna be really cool too, because it also gives me the opportunity to really just kind of, you know, take this and turn it into a different way of displaying plants. So why not? I feel like those could be my last words, like when I said, why not? And you know, it's like all of a sudden like a narrator comes in and I say, because why not? And those were his last words. Why not? Because, as he didn't realize, he was about to make a big, tragic mistake. <laughs> okay, so my only qualm and issue uh, with this is thinking that I'm still probably going to be too short <laughs> to get uh this rope around there so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to use some old cowboy tricks and lasso it around but you know this is what we're doing guys we're giving it a shot we're trying we're trying new things and that's good you know or is it i don't know we're gonna see here huh? see here there oh, actually yeah that's fine that's fine i can get up there Let's see got this nice stability I'm very safe guys don't you worry don't you ever worry about me. All of a sudden, you guys just don't see any videos posted for, like, months. What happened to him? Oh, that narrator, if you didn't hear, was absolutely correct when he said, 
Ah, those were his last words. Those were his last words. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking, I'm going to tie this down. What I've done in the past, so when I did do this in my bedroom, um, and this was like last year, and I have not given you guys a tour of my bedroom yet, but I will at some point. Um, but what I did was I found this cool thing on Pinterest. I became a Pinterest person um, during the pandemic. And I was looking for some cool ideas as to like how to style with plants. And one of the cool things I saw was because of the 22 foot high ceilings, somebody had like similar height of a ceiling. And so what they did was in, in, in their space, they took uh, a long piece of bamboo and held it up by ropes and then had it coming down from the pipe and then put plants on it to dangle down so they'd be able to access them easier. So I did the same thing in my room and I really like the way it turns out, turned out. Um, it looks pretty cool. So I don't know, I, I, I don't like the idea of doing that out here, but it looks cool in my room, so I'm, I'm here for it. Okay, so we have this down and I'm wondering, wondering whether or not, because when I did it in my room, I took something and uh, something that was heavy and I tied it onto the rope and you used it to like throw it around there. I'm wondering if we might have to do that. Let's give it a shot without having to try that first. And I want to position myself in a space that I want that um, plant to dangle down from. Dangle down from. I like my southern accent. I'm from upstate New York. I'm not from the south. Uh, but I do enjoy southern food. So, here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We're climbing upwards. Woo. It's spooky. Okay, so let us give this a shot, shall, shall we? This is going <laughs> this is going to be <laughs> embarrassing cuz one, I'm just not good at like throwing things or any kind of like sport type activity. Not that, you know, planting Tropical plant hobbying is a sport, but it is to me. And I'll go with that. Let's see. Whoop. Nope. Close, but no cigar. Ah! This is, this is really embarrassing. <laughs> oh, look at that! But it's too... Oh, no! Narrator's voice creeps back in. It was around the time that he finally got it around that things took a different turn. <laughs> okay, let's give this a shot again. Look at that. I nailed it on the first try. <laughs> okay. Close. Ah, my plants that are in the way are like, do not hit us. Whatever you do, you're an awful, awful, awful thrower. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes! Look at that! On my first try, guys! Ah. Yay! We did it! And it was so simple. <laughs> um, okay. So now that I have this, got to figure out now, guys, where we want to position this. I'm thinking... I do think it would look lovely, rather quite lovely, in the middle of the living room. So, I think that'll be good. He thought it would be good, but it was not. It was a terrible, terrible choice. Probably, it probably will be. But you know what? Uh, we're going to give it a shot. My only, I guess, issue, because initially I was thinking, like, we have it come down around there, like uh, use the hooks to go around there. That way you don't really see the, um, you don't really see the rope too much. And I guess if I did have it further over this way, I would have to have it attached to that wall, which means when you walk in through the hallway, you would see it. But there is a way around that if I do decide to take that route. And that way around it is to take another vining plant and I do have a trellis up here. And so what we could do is we could take 
uh, another vining plant and then have kind of like the vining plant start to wrap itself around the uh, rope that's going down this way. And that would look kind of cute. It would kind of look like a canopy almost. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because you're like, no, I can't believe I'm actually spending the time watching you right now on YouTube. <laughs> okay. So, there we go. There we go. Yay! Okay. So, we have this down. Now all I need to do is go grab Le Plan. Sorry, little hallway plant. I'm going to take you. But actually, this hallway plant will enjoy that area much more because that area actually gets a little thing called light that apparently plants need to photosynthesize with. Crazy, isn't it? I know. Uh, so this will be perfect for it. Returning to our story now, I have successfully taken down this cutting of a Hartley philodendron, philodendron heterosium, standard green, you know. Uh, but I do absolutely love this for the idea of having it dangling up here because um, it's in this white pot, and this is made by uh, Wally Grow. I have a couple of their planters, but what I like about this one, this one's called the Jupe, I believe, J-O-O-P, is that it's just regular hanging planter, and you can do it in a bunch of different designs, but the inside of it comes out, so when you want to water your plant, you just take it out, you water it, and then you let it dry out, and then you put it back in, and then boom, bam, you are ready to go. And so I feel like this planter in particular will be perfect though for this little project of ours. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to loop you guys in with this project being also uh, yours as well in case, you know, there's an accident. That way you guys are, you know, held liable too, because why not? You guys are watching this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just tie like a little knot around hither. So I'll do a double knot, make sure it's extra tight. Boom. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. And I think, I think, I think, therefore I know. Um, I think that we should be good now. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to take her. Oh no, I tied it on the wrong end. <laughs> Just one moment. All right, we're good now. We're good. We're good, right? Yeah, we're so good. We're not good. These plants that are around in my living room, they're like looking around and they're like, what is this guy doing and why does he keep on doing this stuff to us? Um, I needed to tie it on this end because this is the end that will go over towards that wall up yonder and i do have uh ideas for like other plants that i want to have hanging down here but we're just going to start with this guy because it's you know it's just it's just late it's late in the evening i'm recording this at 9 30 p.m mountain mountain time here in the rocky mountains the rocky mountain west okay so how our little pulley system will go, my friends. Watch me not tie this tight and like just watching like TV or something here one afternoon, one evening, and then all of a sudden this thing just falls down. <laughs> that would scare me so much. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Raise up the blood. Oh, I kind of do like that. That looks very lovely. Rather quite lovely indeed. Okay. So now comes the other part where we need to put this into a little pulley system over hither. And I totally forgot to grab the hook. Let me grab the hook. Oh my gosh, I'm such a mess. I should not be allowed to do these videos uh, unless I have everything like planned out because I clearly do not plan, you know. But here we are. We're making it happen, guys. Okay. The nice thing about this pulley is that I can... Uh, Kind of wrap it around however I want and like have it come down whenever. But for now, we're going to take her and wrap her around here so I can. Let me see. That's not kind of. I'm just being an idiot at this point. 
why don't I just like, there's no need for me to have this up right now. <laughs> I can just bring it down and then just get to it when, you know, when I have this whole thing like screwed in and stuff. Um, that would be the smart idea, Kevin. Use your brain. These plants are just like this guy every single time, every single day, this guy, okay? He's just, he's just a mess. But here we are, okay? All right. So I think that um, pulley system wise, we're going to do it over yonder here. I'm just going to pull this couch out a bit. And I'm glad that uh, my buddy came up with this idea because I really do like it. And I've, I've been looking for something else to do, you know, in, in the living room. And this really kind of gives me that opportunity to try something different. And it's a really simple project to do. I mean, look, you guys can easily do this at your homes, whether or not you have really high ceilings or not. You can still do it and give it a shot and see how it uh, works out. So this that I'm screwing into right now is this trellis. This trellis that I got, I think in like 2021 time frame. And uh, I wanted to put something on the wall here in my living room that I could um, put plants on. And so over the last couple of years, I've had um, a basket full of like neon pothos up in there and uh, had them all kind of wrapped around here. But I really... I didn't like how messy it looked. Like they got kind of got on hand one summer because you guys know like how quickly pothos can grow. Um, I believe from everything that I've read is that they can grow about a foot a month in the summer months. And I truly believe that because I experienced that firsthand. Um, so I ended up like taking it down, uh, that plant down. I believe it was sometime maybe midsummer this year. And I ended up putting up this uh, philodendron imperial, imperial green. And I really love the way that it looks up there. Um, and it's so easy because it's like one of those plants that if you like forget to water it, you know, it's like it doesn't really matter. It's like it can go a couple of weeks without needing it. So that's been really nice. And I couldn't, I couldn't uh, screw in this hook by itself. I'm apparently I'm not strong enough. So we're just going to use a screw to kind of make the way into this trellis. Me. That's the noise a drill makes. Me. Aren't I annoying? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Boom. Bam. And thank you, ma'am. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Okay. There's a little hook right here, but that's not strong enough to hold that rope. So this will be perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that done. And now we can move forward with the whole, you know, pulling up the uh, plant thingy. All right. It's time to officially do this. The plants are like around here just like. Really? Is this is this is this officially happening now? You're actually going to do this? You're good to go? All right, cool, great. Good job, Kevin. Okay, thanks, plants. Thanks for your moral support. You're all very wonderful. I am your caretaker. You must do as I say. <laughs> They're like, no, we're not going to do as you say. Cool. Okay. So now that we've got this, baby. Let's see. Whoa. So um, I recently redid like a lot of stuff in my living room. And uh, I didn't do like a, a big video on it per se. Um, but one thing that I did do was I added um, some mirrors into my living room, including this one right here um, that is unfortunately having to deal with my armpit right now. <laughs> Um, and the reason why I decided to add mirrors, cause I never liked the idea of having like mirrors in the living room or anything. Um, I just wanted plants, but the fact of the matter is this, this mirror comes in handy 
because I only have western facing windows. So why, why would I do that if I only had western facing windows, you say? Or you ask? You're not asking. I'm just, I'm just you know, I'm just going ahead with this. Uh, the reason being is because uh, here in Colorado, especially uh, during the colder months, as we are in winter, move into winter, um, I don't get as much light. The sun is setting further south and barely get any light over here, especially when the sun sets at like 4 p.m. So what this does is that the light that's coming in from the south, which is that way, it's coming in here and it reflects off of the mirror and then hits the plants on the wall over there. So it provides them with some additional light as well. Um, that is a little plant hack, by the way, if you're looking for a little plant hack, if you deal with uh, not so stellar, not so stellar, you know, window, I guess, positioning, if that's what you call it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, give it a shot because it, it has worked wonders. I also have a mirror um, that is behind these plants over here on the north side of my wall, just like this one is, and that hits all of the plants from the back side, which is also really lovely and helps out a lot. Okay, so we have it hanged up now, hung up now, hung up, and uh, what I'm going to do is tie this up here and so my idea is to maybe take like one of these kind of trailing plants, like uh, another philodendron heteraceum and maybe a neon green one to switch it up just like this one, put it over here. And then I have it start trailing up that way. That way, when you walk in from the hallway over here, you know, it doesn't look like, oh, there's a random, you know, rope hanging there. <laughs> like what's going on in this guy's place, you know? So I think that'll look cool and be different. So yeah look at that we did it and we did it successfully and i have to say i really do like the way that looks it looks kind of cool and so what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to get some other um hanging plants that i have in fact in my bedroom up along this wall i have some uh, neon green philodendron heteraceum heartleaf philodendron uh, like the one out here that are propagating and there uh, have grown enough roots where I can actually just start potting them up. So I might use those ones to continue on with this whole project, but that is our project. And uh, I like the way it looks. My buddy had a really great idea and uh, it wasn't my idea. So it actually worked this time. Wow. Can you, can you believe that? I know it's kind of crazy, right? But uh, yeah, you know, for more interesting DIY urban jungle type design stuff, make sure to check out my website at plantswithkevin.com because it's there where you'll find all of my design ideas, what I've come up with and how I go about piecing together my urban jungle uh, because it changes almost on a weekly basis, as you guys know. But uh, if you haven't already, also please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button so you can see more fun and interesting planty content just like this. Thanks again for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.